So now this video we're just going to take a quick look at this power supply. So I wasn't going to buy any more uh, power supplies but I bought this one because it was only $11 on uh, Amazon. Right now it's $13 at least it was last night when I looked. And uh, so the price may be going up. I think this is a great deal especially for $11. Uh, so I've had this uh, powering a fan. You can probably hear it. It's probably making an annoying noise. The camera seems to dislike uh tends to pick up more annoying noises than what you hear in person but uh, in any case it's been running the fan overnight on a high I just set it to low to uh, cut down the noise and you can see we still got uh, four lights there which I really like now while I was powering the fan I also have it running through this uh, USB meter right here so this is telling you the uh, capacity that we had so right now it's a 5.13 volts coming out of here and uh, pretty low current right there only about uh, six, 60 milliamps right there so I can uh, turn this up and we got uh, about 450 milliamps right there and at times it was uh, point I think uh, 66 so 660 milliamps now that's what we got uh, for capacity so we've had somewhere around about uh, 0.5 amps 500 milliamps powering the fan overnight for about 10 hours so we expect about a 5 right there and we do have that 5 plus a little bit more so it's probably a bit above uh, 0.5 uh, amps so that's what we expect and this uh, power bank here as I said before I paid about $11 but it is a uh, 20,000 milliamp hour uh, battery in here according to the seller so that's the uh, lithium some kind of uh, lithium battery I think it's a lithium polymer but in case 3.7 volts or 3.6 volts will be the average voltage when it comes to uh, lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries and uh, so it'll go from 4.2 volts when it's fully charged and I did top it off right before I did this test uh, because after you fully charge it it kind of drifts down in voltage for a little bit uh, a little bit and then uh, stops at probably about 4 volts so I topped it off and it's gonna keep going down in voltage till it gets to probably about 3 volts right there so we can expect if you're drawing an amp of uh, current for this to last about uh, 20 hours according uh, to this so the amount of work done is going to be 74 watt hours so that number is for a uh, 3.7 uh, volts and uh, the output though is uh, 5 volts as we saw before so so the uh, watt hours the amount of current that we're going to get at 5 volts is going to be uh, lower it takes some of the uh, current from the battery and converts it to voltage plus you have some losses so if we get this to uh, 20 right there we're doing a lot better than uh, what they claim even so now I had to go to bed right after filming the last part but I woke up for a little bit and uh, we were at 7 amp hours a little more uh, 7,000 milliamp hours Ooh, that's not good I don't have enough power drawing crap from uh, the uh, load to uh, keep the power supply on so now it reset but as you saw we were above uh, 9 amp hours 9,000 milliamp hours so we're gonna have to take that into account with the uh, final tally to this but in case we're almost at uh, 10 amp hours we were and uh, still had three dots so we were above 50 percent charge according to this dot system as soon as it goes from uh, three dots to two dots that's 50 percent charge and uh, uh, 10 is half of uh, 20 so we should get 20 amp hours 20,000 milliamp hours out of this uh, power bank uh, pretty easily so now I'm just gonna end the test now you can see we got about uh, half of an amp hour 500 milliamp hours more out of this and we still have three dots so I think it's pretty clear that uh, at uh, when this declares it's 50% charge because maybe it is misleading and afterwards the uh, dots go down uh, quicker as you use current but it looks like we hit uh, basically and uh, it did it again I have the fan too low so 
I'm just going to end the uh, testing there. But you can see how loud the fan is when you turn it up. And uh, this is how much current it needs when it's low. So maybe after uh, 0.25 amps or uh, 250 milliamps, maybe that's when the uh, power supply shuts down. Maybe it has to stay above, uh, I turned it off completely, above that. The fan does have a battery in it though. So even though the power supply turned off, the uh, fan was able to power itself. So one of the reasons why I thought the uh, Beston would be a uh, good purchase, this power bank, you can see how uh, thick it is right there. So that kind of lines up with the 20,000 milliamp hour, 20 amp hour uh, claim right there. Here is a uh, basically a 26,000 or 24,000 milliamp hour right there. And it is a little bit thicker. So it is thicker. Now, this has uh, some more charging options. This one just has the uh, micro USB for charging it. So that's what I plugged into the fan to power it was the uh, micro USB right here. And the uh, USB I plugged, uh, normally I would plug it into the uh, power bank to uh, power the fan. But uh, I plugged this into the power bank. So this is a USB tester. You just plug it in. We saw how effective it was and uh, you plug whatever you're going to power with that power and it monitors how much uh, voltage the power supply is providing, how much current is flowing and uh, as we saw it uh, keeps track of capacity as long as the power supply voltage does not shut off. So now this video has gone long enough, let's get the uh, main takeaway. So I feel really confident that at least the battery is at least a 20,000 milliamp hour right there as their claim. We were measuring for uh, 5 volts how much current the uh, battery has to provide current to the circuitry that steps up the voltage. So you lose some current in that process and uh, also there's a circuitry that uses up current and uh, so you don't get out as much current as the battery is providing for a couple of reasons. And so at 5 volts with the perfect conversion probably somewhere around 15,000 milliamps you can expect and uh, it still looked like we are over halfway charged and we got 10,000 milliamps at that 5 volts so I feel pretty confident that that battery is uh, at least uh, that good that they claim there so pretty happy with that so at that uh, 20,000 milliamp hours same as 20 amp hours I would pay $20 I wouldn't right now I got plenty of power banks but uh, I bought this one because it was only $11 and so about half of what I would normally pay for just a basic bare bones you can't jump a car or anything with this and uh, so I believe $20 is a reasonable price $11 is a really good price now it's $13 they bumped it up a bit for whatever reason I'm guessing maybe they're gonna bump it up again maybe they just have this uh, so low priced right now so they get a lot of good reviews before they bump up the price but right now it's low so I think at least right now it is a good buy and even if it goes to twenty dollars you know there's other ones at uh, with this amount of uh, capacity at uh, twenty dollars but that's really kind of as low as you go unless you find a really good deal so overall I think this is a good purchase right now which is why I made one and uh, made the video so hope you enjoyed check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.